what I like to do is follow a particular method of doing it the same way every single time. And the things I like to do is find your ligands, those are the things bonded to the metal, name those, and those go in alphabetical order. And then look at your metal and find the oxidation state. After you do that, you put it all together, okay, into one piece. Let's try the one on the top. Uh, this has uh, a couple different types of ligands. There's this one that is called amine. And your ligands are listed in your text. You need to know all those ligands. There's two tables of ligands, the monodentate and the polydentate ligands. You've got to know those. And you'll see them come up here. So amine, that's a neutral ligand. And then this one right here, chloro. So for uh, transition metals, the ligand suffix, if it is not neutral, so if it has a negative charge, ends in an O. That's the suffix that you need to know, O, and that's it. So there's two amines, so we say diamine, and there's two chlorines, so dichloro. So there's prefixes that you need to put to indicate the number of things you have. So, um, and because A comes before C, it would be diamine dichloro. So now what I want to do is find the charge on platinum. I told you, and you should know, that ammonia has a zero charge. What's the charge on chlorine? Minus one. And there's two of them, so it'd be minus two. One from each. So platinum has to be plus two. So once you have all the ligands, you know them in alphabetical order, and you know the charge on platinum, you're ready to go. Uh, now, if there is no counter ion, uh, which you'll see in the next two examples where there's brackets, there's no brackets, no counter ion like these. It only has one name, kind of like Madonna. It's a one named entity if it's neutral. Otherwise, normal people, normal molecules always have two names, a first and a last. And you'll see that in the other uh, couple examples. So this is diamine. 2Ms, dichloro, platinum, all one word, 2. The 2 comes from the charge. And A comes before C. So alphabetical. Yes? Chlorine is diatomic. Chlorine is a diatomic if it's by itself. However, this is with something else, so it's actually two chlorine. Great. Question? Yes. Where are you? Oh, okay. Yes. I was just confused on the platinum. How did you figure that it was plus two? How did I know it's plus two? This is neutral. Uh -huh. Is that okay? Yeah. This is minus one. And there's two of them. So total, these combined give a minus two. <coughs> to be neutral, there's a molecule. This has to be plus two. Plus two minus two equals zero. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. Was there another question? Yes. Does platinum's position go under the alphabetical order? Platinum, the or the metal, is always last in the name of the complex. It's the last thing listed. So ligands first in alphabetical order, then the metal. Okay, let's try this uh, next crazy one here. Uh, as you know now, this is chloro, and it's specifically dichloro because there's two. This one here, the water, it's a special neutral ligand. You need to know the name. It's not water. It's called aqua. A, like Aquaman. And there's four of them. So like Tetris, this is tetra aqua. There's two ways. Yeah, uh, that's kind of funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's the way it goes. Two A's. You, this is different than moleculars where you cut the second valve, but this one you keep it. Okay, dichloro, tetra, aqua. Anything outside the brackets is called a counter ion. It's not bonded to the complex per se, it just bounces the charge. Think of like sodium chloride, you know what I mean? Or potassium chloride. So we're going to name this blah 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 chloride. 
So it has two names. First name blah blah blah, second name Flora. So the second name from the chlorine outside the brackets is called chloride, just like sodium chloride or potassium chloride, whatever. Uh, or ammonium chloride. Now the first name. Uh, here, uh, remember we have to do alphabetical order, but we, we don't count the prefixes, so A before C. Tetra aqua dichloro. Okay, though we still, before we get to the full name, we need to know the charge on chromium. So, water has what charge? Zero, and this has minus one. Uh, now, what is the charge of everything in brackets? Plus one. Is that okay? This chlorine is minus one. Like, think, uh, think of sodium chloride. The chlorine's minus one. The, thing, the other thing has to be plus one. So all of this is plus one. So chromium, and if I need to write this out, let me know. Chromium minus two equals plus one. Okay, maybe I should write that. Chromium minus two from the two chlorines equals overall charge plus one. Thus, chromium equals plus 3. Any questions on that? You need to be able to find the charge. It's really, really important. It has to go in the name or the name's wrong. Okay, so now we know chromium's plus 3. So let's write this mess out. Tetra aqua uh, dichloro uh, chromium Chloride. So it's two names. The first name tetra aqua dichloral chromium three. Second name chloride. Okay. Digest that. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll go to the next one. Magnesium iodide, the last name is going to be iodide. That's how you name the counter ion. So it's iodide, calcium iodide, ammonium iodide, potassium iodide, just, just like those. And so it's blah, 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 iodide. Okay, now let's do the blah, blah, blah. What's this thing called? Amine with two M, so it's penta amine. Penta amine, two M. And the other one, what would this be called, the I? It's normally iodine, it changes to iodo. Because there's a, uh, you get rid of the suffix and you put O. So all these ligands, if they're charged, end in O. <coughs> okay, so we'd go pentaamine iodo. What's that? Oh, you don't have to do mono. No. Uh, okay. What's the RH? Anybody know? What's the name of that element? Rhodium. Rhodium. Yeah, rhodium. So, we need to know the charge on rhodium. What's the charge inside the brackets? Plus two. Yeah. Think of magnesium iodide. Magnesium is plus two. It's MgI2. So uh, this has to be plus. So uh, we know that ammonia is zero, iodine is minus one. So if you want me to set up a little equation, rhodium plus five ammonia is at zero, minus one equals overall charge of plus two. So hopefully you can see rhodium should be three. Okay, I've got everything. I've got all the ligands. I know their alphabetical order. I know the metal charge. So I can write it out now. This will be uh, penta amine. What's the next? Iodo. What's the next? Rhodium. RH. And one, two, three. Iodine. 